Again, I know you've also just set up a foundation for golf. What's that all about? What's the aim there? My grandparents always taught me that, you know, no matter what, you have to give something back to them. Whichever society you come in through, you have to give you have to give back to them. And uh, it was this year that you know I made a final decision that I'm going to go ahead with my with my golf foundation. And uh, everything said and done, you know I've I've just formed it. I've named it Gaganjit Bowler Foundation. Okay. And the main attraction would be uh, that we are going to pick underprivileged kids. And the first year I'm going to target about three to four underprivileged kids uh, who are doing really well. Of course, under the age of 18. And I've I've got enough sponsors to give them financial backing. I've got sponsors for their equipment, uh, you know, their travel expenses, uh, you know, to to play, to fly around, to for their coaches uh, coaching expenses. So uh, the first few years, uh, the funds are ready. Now it is just a matter of time. Just need few dedicated kids to it. And uh, trust me, uh, you know, I'm I'm quite hopeful that this. Uh, this revolution will come, and you know people will start actually believing that uh, at the end of the day, it's all about it's all about charity. What you do, right. and uh, even you know some of my earnings, uh, uh, I've, I've I've given give, given it to some some charity because I feel you know uh, money is one thing, and uh, you know I'm only 25. I've I've got so many years in golf, and I'll I'll make heaps of money in my in my in my career. But I should not forget that all the money which I'm making, it's it's through society. It's it's people money. And it is very important to give back to them to make sure that you know this circle keeps on rotating, and uh, this money should go into a good cause. They should improve somebody's game, and you know hopefully after a few years we would see some upcoming G. Milka Singh, Tiger Woods, and Arjun Atwal in our country. Okay, I think that answered my next question. I was going to say, is it about the money? Is it about fame? Is it about uh, you know what? Is it about representing your country? When you're out there in international circuits, is there a thrill in the idea that you're representing your country? Uh, trust me, uh, you know I still remember it was 2009, my first uh, major appearance. This was in uh, July, Turnbury, Scotland, and I was the only Indian playing. Uh, there were about 200,000 people following that that uh, that tournament in, inside the ropes, and uh, I was the only Indian coming down the stretch. I saw about 25 flags and uh, could see my Indian flag waving. That is that is the moment which you which you wait for. And uh, no matter you are a millionaire, billionaire, whoever you are, you cannot buy that moment. It all comes with your cherished hard work, dedication, patience, and uh, that is one thing which you earn. And uh, you know, it is it is not a, not all about money. These are the things which you actually you know look for in your life. And uh, I feel very blessed, feel really happy that you know I've I've earned my way, and no matter what, I would I would still remember that that moment for the rest of my life, and you know always feel happy about it. Tell us another one of your favorite moments or a really significant moment for you, something that moved you or made you feel that you know this is it, this is what I want to keep doing. Uh, you know, quite a few quite a few moments happened with me. Uh, this was back in 2006. I, I was an amateur. I was number one amateur at that time. I got an invitation to play in the pro pro tournament as an amateur, and I was leading that tournament. It was in Delhi Golf Club, and it was all over the newspaper in India. I got phone calls from America, from my family, friends in Canada, England, Australia, everywhere. That you know, wow, you guys are. I mean, you're you're amateur, and you still you already started competing with the uh, you know international uh, professionals. That was that was one thing which changed my mindset. I was like, you know, uh, why should I wait for two or three more years? I'm ready to turn pro and you know, ready to take on these guys. So these are small little things which gives you you know instant boost. And uh, the another thing was uh, you know winning the silver medal at the Asian Games. I I remember when I came back, uh, went to my 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 home uh, home city Jalandhar. And uh, there were about 200 people waiting for me on the uh, outside my house. Right. And uh, trust me, you know that that is the moment which you which you actually wait for. And all those 200, 300 people, they are just you know they are just out there for you. And they're like you know we support you. Go out there, make it big. We are there with you. You know we are we are so proud of you. And you get that positivity around you, right. and you know the aura really brightens up. Yeah. And uh, these are the things really which really inspires you to become a better golfer. What's been your one of your most difficult moments? Something where you really felt that you were tested? 
and from which you came out stronger i would say it was in 2008 my second year on tour i started the tour in a really good way i my goal that year was to be inside top 65 on the asian tour right and i started around 100 105 coming down the stretch i was around 70 75 and it was just one tournament left and the last day and that was my last attempt and i was you know a day before that saturday night i was just sitting alone in my room and just you know recalling the whole year and i was like you know i've put so much of hard work so much of effort in my game and still uh, you know i'm going to go back to the q school next year and uh, basically i'm back to the basics and uh, this whole year has gone wasted for me and uh, these were i mean i still remember you know i was almost in tears and uh, these are the moments you know which really i came out really strong and which makes you a better person and the next morning i went out and shot 64 which was a course record i was the last guy to make my full card on the on the asian tour and after that i was never looking back i got on to the british open next year one four tournaments after that on the asian tour and you know never looked back and uh, now whenever i look back back and you know try and remember that 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 day uh, it always gives me that that feeling that you know i'm i'm glad i did that i i i stay calm i stay strong in that right. in that time and uh, that was a reason uh, one of the reasons why i'm here today what does gaganji do when he's not playing golf if he's ever not playing golf <laughs> uh <laughs> i need to think i don't remember the last time i i did something when i'm not playing or not thinking about golf uh it is basically you know spending time with my family i uh i like uh, like to take a lot of holidays i take about 2 to 3 holidays a year and uh australia and us these two are my favorite places no matter what i always go there uh you know try and spend some time with my family with my friends we guys uh, did a school reunion in in melbourne last year that was that was good fun and uh, a lot of my cousin my family lives in uh, lives in america so every time i go out there you know spend some time with them so these are the these are the few little things and you know few off weeks which i which i try and look forward to and you know a great way uh, to unwind yourself galganji thank you so much for joining us on the show today it was an absolute pleasure thank chatting you. with thank you, you so we much. wish you all the thank best with galganji willer talking to us about uh, his aims his ambitions going forward i'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot more of him on uh, various tours across the world that's all from us on the day thanks so much